Stephen Henderson, welcome to the Off the Ball League of Ireland podcast. Hendo, how are you? I'm great. Thanks very much, JMO. Thanks for having me again. Stephen, it's Cup final week. You're ready to uh, make the long, long, long trip to the Brandywell in Derry on Sunday for a four o'clock kickoff. Before the match, are you going for a Cup final suit or a Cup final tracksuit? No, I'd be in a tracksuit, JMO. Uh, I get enough stick over the clobber that I wear, so like, I, I just go with the tracksuit. Um, we're just looking forward to the whole occasion. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, totally relaxed. Uh, big occasion for the players. Big occasion for myself, to be brutally honest with you, and all the coaches. So, uh, it's nothing to do with what I wear, really. It's just going up and really enjoy the match, isn't it? Of course. Now, it's a long trip, Stephen, as I mentioned as well. And there's been a debate about, you know, should this game be in a neutral venue in Dublin? The fact that you guys have to go to Derry. I know you're going overnight on Saturday. Just explain to us how your weekend will work and also your feelings. You know, had you been drawn at home, it will be Derry making the trip. But it, it's a long trip for a cup final, isn't it? It is a long cup for a, for a trip, a cup final. Yeah. Um, but, like, you know, we wanted our home for our own selfish reasons, Jamie. Do you know what I mean? In terms of where we want the club to go in the future. Um, it would have been brilliant to have it at home. It would have been, We would have sold the place out, as I think Derry have. Uh, but it would have been great for us in terms of our, our progression as a club. It would have got all the locals back into the ground. Uh, they would have seen the progression that's been made within Coleman's Park. Uh, you know, it could have reignited uh, the passion of all supporters to come back. So for selfish reasons, Jamie, we wanted it in, uh, in, in Coleman's Park. Um, obviously, we lost the draw. But, you know, you'd be disappointed if been, um, you know, the FEI Cup in terms of cups is the only one that's bigger than it in this country. And uh, I just think it's unfortunate that the EA Sports Cup isn't a standalone final itself within the Aviva Stadium. When you have the FEI Intermediate Cup, the FEI Junior Cup, the Ladies Final, all in the Aviva Stadium. Uh, you know, we're crying out for a bit of credibility with the EA Sports Cup. And uh, a bit of, a long way going towards that, we'll be having it in the Aviva Stadium, I believe. Because uh, the, the stadium itself, she's magnificent. I think uh, the supporters fully deserve a day out in a unique stadium like it. And players will go through their whole careers without getting an opportunity to do that. So, uh, you know, it would have been fantastic for both players and supporters for it to be in the Aviva. But it's not. So, uh, it's up in Derry. Fantastic ground, the Brandywell. Love her up there. I used to love playing up there, Jamie. Uh, always a great atmosphere. The Derry supporters are passionate. They're great people to be around. Uh, we're going up to play against a very good team. Uh, it's it's on an all-weather pitch, so there'll be no bumps, no excuses about <laughs> not being able to keep the ball on the ground. It should be a good game and a great occasion. Um, you know, But it's going to be the brandy well. We've accepted that. Now we get on with it. Hendo, I love your grey hair. Will you move your chair back about one yard so we can actually see your head, sir? Because your hairstyle is fantastic. And I would love to be able to see it, if possible, please. Now, Are you taking the piss out of me, Jamie? No, I'm serious. I can only see you from your glasses up. Uh-huh. I can only see you from How your glasses you up. Back? Can you not see me properly? Move back one step from me on that chair of yours there, and then we'll get you, if you could. A reminder, this final is on on Sunday. It's live on Air Sport. It's a, a four o'clock kickoff. Derry City against Cove Ramblers. Cove, of course, coming uh, into this final, having beaten Dundalk in the previous round, Hendo. And if you're still there, you can, if you can try and repeat the feat of the blueprint of that Dundalk win in Derry, you'll have a, a cup to lift uh, come about six o'clock on Sunday. Yeah, and I think uh, the boys have to take a lot of confidence from that, Jamie. You know, I think in the EA Sports Cup, we bet Limerick as well. It was a very strong Limerick team that we played against and uh, we bet them 1-0 and we played very well on that night as well. Obviously, Longford were a very good test for us. They were they were in the midst of a great run when we bet them in our place. Uh, Wexford at the very start of it in a very cold, uh, <laughs> um, very Carrick that night. Uh, so we kind of went through the, through the cup competition uh, without conceding a goal today, which is magnificent. Uh, but like you say, the, the the Dundalk match was uh, was a was a catalyst for us in terms of because we are a very young side, um, you know. So like for the boys to go out and play against a very strong Dundalk team that night, Jamie, um, and beat them and deserve to beat them, um, you know. I think them the following week we went up to play in the FEI Cup itself. They bet us three 0 for our first half performances and elements of the second half performance, we were really good again, Jamie. So, like, for the boys to stand toe to toe with the best team in the country at this moment in time, it has to give them confidence. And, like you say, if we can go up to Derry and we can uh, maintain our discipline, uh, maintain our organisation, and the players played with the freedom that they played with in both games against Dundalk, we'll definitely be giving uh, Derry City a game. Uh, you know, I just don't want the situation, and it would be very 
disappointing that, you know, what happened with Longford and Cork the other night. Longford would have been very confident going into that night, that game. And you don't you don't want to be spanked and you don't want to be spanked on national television. So uh, you know, so we don't want that to happen. So we prepared really well the last two weeks for the two weeks for this game. Uh we've we've done a lot of uh, analysis on Derry. So hopefully all the stuff that we've done in the last two weeks will, will come to fruition and we'll give Derry a proper game and the people on the telly will appreciate what we're trying to do down here in Cork. Yeah, I wanted to mention as well about and ask you about how your your last couple of weeks have gone, given there was no FAI Cup game last week, so you've a, a full couple of weeks to prepare. I know you've been doing some sessions in St. Coleman's Park, and I saw a tweet last night saying that the uh, the drug testers arrived to, to ruin one of your training sessions, which isn't ideal, but you've had enough time to do enough work to get them ready uh, for this match, despite the fact that you were disrupted during the week. Yeah, like there's, a, there's no excuse. The, the timing is very unfortunate there. I don't know who gives them their schedules. Uh, you know yourself, lads will be running in now. They they think they want to go to the toilet and then they don't. So they're, you know, and unfortunately, you know, there were some key players that were getting called off. Do you know what I mean? But uh, like you say, we've done enough. We've uh, we've um, we've prepared. To be honest with you, we we've been preparing since uh, we got to draw. Since we got to the semi final, um, just after Finn Harps bet us, we knew we had no um, uh, chance of getting into the promotion playoff spaces. So what we done was is that we start preparing fully for uh, the Dundalk match to see if we could, uh, you know, not go out and give Dundalk a really good game of football, and and that's what we've done. So all our preparations really has been uh, what you call it for this run in the cup. Uh, obviously, when we beat Dundalk, um, you know, it was a, it was a huge, a huge shock to a lot of people. Us as well <laughs> has to be said, but uh, on the day we deserved it. But like you say, Jamo, yeah, we we've been preparing now for a good six to seven weeks, um, you know, and for for the final now. So so we're ready for it. Uh, it's down to the players now, um, you know. We just really want them to go up and, and enjoy it and and enjoy the occasion, and uh, you just hope they don't get too nervous on the day. Do you know what I mean? In terms of that, Stephen, what's the last thing you'll say to the Cove Ramblers players before they go out to play in this cup final on Sunday? You know, I think what most managers would say: don't come in with any regrets. Um, you know, like we, we, we spoke to them often about um, when they were young players, when they were kids playing on the street, how they went out and how, uh, you know, there was no fear in how they played. Uh, you know, they, they loved playing against our mates. They played against our family. Uh, you know, it was totally enjoyable. Fear, they didn't know what fear meant. Uh, you know, all this kind of stuff. This is what we need them to do is to, you know, within our organisation, our defensive structure, they have to be disciplined. But when we have the ball, we really do want them to express themselves and enjoy themselves, Jamie. Uh, you know, we don't want this to pass them, boy. Very often, like, and I've been guilty of it, that you tell players, uh, you know, play the game, not the occasion. Um, I think it's important that they do enjoy the occasion. Uh, I think that they, uh, you know, they go up there and they enjoy it. Uh, they take it all in, uh, you know, and then, you know, just really enjoy the day. And if they can enjoy everything that's coming with it, the media stuff that's been happening this week with them, uh, the training has been really enjoyable, go up. They really suck in the atmosphere and understand it's a big occasion because some of them are teenagers. It may not happen again, so don't let it pass you, boy. Uh, go out, enjoy the game, uh, play to your full potential, work hard when we don't have the ball, and when we have it, uh, you're a very talented player, go and show, show the country that's what you're about. And that's what we will be telling them again just before we go out, Jim. Stephen, lastly, I'm putting a 60-second clock on you. What would it mean to Cove Ramblers to win the Cup? It would, it would mean everything, Jamie. Uh, you know, Cove itself as a town is a real football town. It's a real cup town uh, since the exploits of the 1983 team. Uh, you know, there was 25,000 people uh, here going to the matches for the replays against Sligo Rover. So, so we're a real cup town and it's really ignited the imagination of the town again. Uh, it's our fourth senior final, Jamie. We're 96 years gone. It's our fourth senior final. Uh, so that in itself is a remarkable achievement. Um, you know, we won our first ever title in 2007. I was delighted to be part of that. But to be honest with you, I think this would outdo that purely because of the basis that Cove is such a cup orientated town. It loves cup matches. And if we could bring back uh, the first uh, senior cup back to the town next Sunday, it would be absolutely remarkable achievement for the players, uh, for the coaches that have been working all hard and all the volunteers for the club. It would be absolutely fantastic. People can say what they want about uh, the EA Sports Cup. But here in Cove, it means the world to us to be able to take that home. Great stuff as always. Stephen Henderson, thanks so much for your time. The best of luck on Sunday. We'll speak to you soon. Thanks, Hendo. Thanks a million, Jamo. Talk to you soon. God bless, pal.